It is week two in the trial of Ahmad Arbery is alleged killers, and it appears at least one attorney is already pushing for a mistrial. Our Haley Mason live outside the Glen County Courthouse. All this seems to be connected to Reverend Jesse Jackson's presence in the courtroom, Haley. Karen, where to begin? This morning has been incredible, almost unbelievable what just took place all within the last hour. Jesse Jackson, Reverend Jesse Jackson, we want to note, is inside the courtroom right now, sitting with Ahmaud Arbery's mother and father, sitting right behind Greg McMichael's wife. And defense attorney Kevin Goff has taken issue with that, asking him to leave the courtroom. We're going to show you video of Jesse Jackson. He's sitting there in between Ahmaud Arbery's mother and father, again, sitting behind behind Greg McMichael's wife, Lee McMichael, who's also Travis McMichael's mother. They're sitting there quietly, but in a break, Goff stood up saying he wanted Reverend Jesse Jackson to go to the jury room, which is the overflow room where this trial is being live streamed because Goff thinks that Jesse Jackson's presence could influence or pressure the jury. He said this is not a, quote, courtside seat at the Lakers game. And he said civil rights leaders should not be sitting through this trial, asking, quote, who is Jesse Jackson pastoring here? Goff moved for a mistrial. The judge, seemingly frustrated by Goff's comments, said that they were reprehensible last week. This is some of that exchange. And in other circumstances, I think everybody would be happy to have their picture taken, maybe get an autograph. But in the context of this trial, we object to his presence in the public gallery inside the courtroom. We note that there is a jury assembly room capable of holding depending on how we socially distance, several hundred people, where these proceedings are being televised live in real time. Um, the issue that Ray brought up previously is how many pastors does the Arbery family have? Uh, at this point, it's almost as if you're just trying to continue this um, uh, for purposes other than just bringing it to the court's attention. <laughs> That was Judge Wombly saying, uh, Mr. Goff, I'm not sure what you're trying to do here. Uh, Goff, after being denied his request to have a mistrial, Wombly uh, allowed him to stand back up again. Then he complained that Reverend Jackson's mask wasn't covering his nose. We'll note, though, that several people in the gallery over the last couple of weeks have not worn a mask at all. Nonetheless, more defense attorneys joined this effort for a mistrial, saying that there was an emotional outburst when Aubrey's mother weeped a little bit seeing an old picture of him. Him. The judge denied that as well, saying emotions are not unexpected. He stopped court, cleared out the jury, and they came back shortly after. A lot going on here just in the last hour, but certainly uh, the presence of civil rights leaders and pastors taking the forefront of this proceeding again today. Reporting live outside the Glen County Courthouse, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Now a lot going on today, Haley. You're right. Thank you.